This is a bike. This is a camper. This is a bike camper. Dude, this thing's legit. Dude, I know. We saw that this guy in Japan made these camper bikes, but only as art pieces. As soon as we saw it, we thought, is it actually possible to take one of these on a road trip? So we built one of our own to see if it's possible to make it 100 miles in only two days. Time to go, Chris. Oh, hey, wait, Jeff, wait I'll for me. I'll see you later. Wait for me. Come on. Oh, oh, I feel it's so heavy, dude. That was sketchy. Look at this. Hi, Jeff. Hey, Chris. So, Jeff, you're gonna need a bus to U-turn. I do? Yeah. Right across the street? Yeah. Okay. Guys, this is gonna be a long adventure. Dude, I honestly cannot believe this. All right, we're crossing the street. Everybody's looking at us and filming us. Hi. All right, Chris, are we on the right track? Yeah, you're on the right track now. So this thing is fully functional. It's got everything we need. A sink, running water, a propane stove. It's got a place to sleep. It's got even seasoning for our food that we're gonna be cooking. It's also got solar power and electricity. We have all the switches here. You can see we got some bike lights, headlights, fan. Ooh, I'm gonna turn that on right now. Oh, heck yeah, bro. Dude, Chris. We're barely going uphill. I could walk faster than I'm going right now. <laughs> I'm so tired. Oh no. Oh, That's okay. We have a plan. So when Jeff can't do it, then I'm gonna get out and push. We can do it, Jeff. Though two hours have passed and we haven't even traveled one mile, we're pressing on, determined to keep going. At this point, we have no idea what we're getting ourselves into. Whoa. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> what the heck is this? Look how great this is. Dude, we're going fast. She's making some progress. Heck yeah, dude. So now that we've gotten situated, our first mission is get some breakfast at Starbucks. We're gonna take this thing through the drive-thru. See what they think. Oh, shoot. Are you good, bro? I'm good. Dude, what, what happened? I was. Shoot, dude, you hit the curb. Dude, if it bent the wheel, this road trip is over. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was crazy, dude. Needless to say, on our way to Starbucks, we had a few close calls and accidents. Oh, Chris. My bad, bro. Chris. Chris. Look at the sign. Keep it going like that. We also had a lot of really nice people come up to us and check out the camper. These guys are going to give us water. Thank you, man. Yeah, no worries. I appreciate it. He's got some, some packs for you, mix in the water, give you some electrolytes. Thank you so yes, much. Sir. All right, have a good one. What's up, dude? We saw you guys around the corner. Like, yeah, how's it going? Not too bad. Chris. Yeah. Chris Reggie. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Starbucks. Starbucks was actually supposed to be for breakfast and um, it's three o'clock right now. So this is like lunch. <laughs> yes, baby. Yes. God, this is amazing. <laughs> I had to run over here and come outside to see what it was. Most amazing, cutest little thing I've ever seen. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Can I get a shaken espresso with salted caramel foam? Of course, it's nice. A, a grande. Jeff, can you tell them to give me the most refreshing thing that they have? And then can you give me a grande of the most refreshing thing that you have? <laughs> okay, you got it. All right, that'll be it, thank you. Yeah, it's like a little camper. We got like a bed in there, like it, it's really? it's right here and it folds down towards the back. Do you guys like use this often? No, this uh, is just for- Just for a video. No, this is my house. This is my full time <laughs> Oh, sweet, thank you. Know you. Yep. It is, yes. Subscribe. Thank you. Awesome. Got a subscriber. You too, bye. All right, take care. Dude, I'm so glad we got some Starbucks. Me too. Okay, it's time to see if this is the most refreshing drink in the world. Let's see. Oh my gosh. All right, copy, secured. That was worth it. After Starbucks, we headed back to the trail and ran into a guy who basically wanted to move in. You like it? Yeah, man, it's tight. You can actually live in there. Yeah, dude. Very clean, very clean, very clean. <laughs> you just get it done right now? Uh, yeah, we finished it uh, last night, so. Oh, did you really? Yeah. This is gonna be cool. <laughs> job, you're killing it. Thank you. It took seven exhausting hours to ride only six miles. Our original goal was to make it 50 miles on day one. Since that is clearly not happening, we decided on a more modest camping location for the night. Ugh. Dude. 
This, this is exhausting. Dude, this feels so good to lay down like this. Our next goal is Walmart, which is like three miles up. We gave it all we had, and before we could get to Walmart, our legs started to cramp up and we couldn't pedal anymore. On top of that, a steep hill stood in between us and Walmart, so we decided to park it in a nearby neighborhood and Uber to Walmart for supplies. That's sketchy. That was sketchy. <laughs> okay, um, so it's about 10, 9.44, um, and we're gonna go to bed now. And if you're wondering how we're going to sleep in here, so are we. Okay, so this is what we do. Wait, so that's one. So I'm gonna actually be amazed if we can sleep in here. This does not make it. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We put a piece of wood underneath there to level it out, but we actually need that piece of wood. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Shoot, we oh, did that God. again. We literally did that we again. We forgot the jacks. Oh, we forgot the jacks. That's we why we have jacks, guys. See this, this is, this is why. Gosh dang it, dude. <laughs> Dude, this is sketchy. Put the jacks up, All bro. Right, put the jacks. Okay, guys, this is what happens here. We don't do this. Do you guys see the importance of this now? Oh no, it's, Chris, it's peeing. It's taking a pee, Chris. This is not good. Look at this, guys. Look how practical this is. We just want to go to bed. You know, Jeff, everything that we've done today and everything we're trying to do, uh -huh. it's all nearly close to impossible. <laughs> oh, dude, it actually feels pretty good to be up here. Yeah, it's really comfy. Okay, well. I guess well, this means good night. See you tomorrow. Okay, so something happened and we're currently sinking. Falling. So we're gonna try to fix it. These By the way, this is suggesting sleeping like this, but. Is your, uh, Sorry. I'm not gonna lie, it's a very strange call. Okay, so this is what just happened. We got out to fix the bed. Three police officers showed up. They're super kind. Uh, so respect to those guys. He said, they would recommend moving. He also said this might be kind of a sketchy neighborhood at night. So our only option is to try to get to Walmart. It's close, but it's uphill, so. Here goes nothing. Off to Walmart. After three long miles, we finally made it to Walmart, fixed the bed, and went to sleep. Now that day one is over, it is clear that something has got to change if we want to reach our goal tomorrow. Luckily, during the rest stop yesterday, I came up with an idea that could possibly change the course of this road trip. Dude, what if there's something at the Walmart that we could help pull this thing with? No, that's an idea. Wait, what if we do a second bike and we just rope it? It's like a tandem bike, essentially. So with the new beginning in sight, we packed up the camper, bought a new bike, and got back to the trail to test out our idea. So we just got back to the bike path and it's time for the big reveal. The tandem bike. So as you know, we got another bike um, and we attached a rope to it. So Chris? I will be up here. This is working. This actually is so much easier, This is dude. working. Okay, so we have a little bit of a problem. We told our wives we have, we have finished this road trip in two days. So I don't think we're gonna make it 100 miles. Oh dude, there's sunscreen in my eye. <laughs> but we really want to make it to the beach and that's about 25 miles so i think if we could keep this pace jeff i think we'll make it to the beach i think so too dude this is so much easier both of my eyes are tearing up bro all right let's do it bro okay unfortunately as we we're getting closer to the beach a headwind started to pick up which basically canceled out the effectiveness of the second bike nothing to worry about guys we're all good oh we spent over half the day pressing on as hard as we could, but we were realizing there's no way we can make it to the beach by the end of the day. Nice, man. Thank, Thank you. you. Even though we didn't reach 100 miles, we had an amazing journey and met a lot of awesome people along the way. As for the bike camper, if this was Mythbusters, this camper would be busted. Ooh. 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 Dude, so scary. <laughs> Jeff, what do you have to say for yourself? I feel like we gave it our all. You know we, what I mean? We did, Jeff. We made it quite a far distance, so. I'm proud of us, Jeff. Bye, guys. See ya.